Greetings everyone. Welcome to the 43rd yeah. yeah. Greetings everyone. Welcome to the 43rd episode of Freeway to Financial Freedom. My name is Chen Yu, the host of the show. For those of you who have seen this show before, you know what it's about. And for those of you who have never seen this show before or are here watching this show for the first time, don't worry, I'll tell you right now. This show is going to change the way you think about finance. And by watching this show, it will help you become financially affluent in life. How is it possible? To show you how to so, sew, here's a story. Cash flow is the story of how an average person overcomes obstacles and limitations to escape the rat race and take charge of their financial future. It all began when our wide-eyed hero graduated college, got a job, accumulated debt, and found himself stuck firmly in the middle of the same rat race he swore he would avoid when he used to dream big. How would he ever find his way out? It's Randy Rat to the rescue! rescue, rescue, rescue. It's time for you to escape this rat race. Let me show you the way out. With that, our hero learned how to change his thinking about money and investing, understand risk and grow his passive income, providing him with the financial freedom to get out of the rat race that was making him live from hand to mouth with little chance that anything would change. Finally, our hero escapes the rat race and goes down a road of his very own where all of his dreams come true. The end. Freeway to Financial Freedom is sponsored by Income and Product Emporium. Fly high with financial and technological freedom. And CYY Mall. Great savings come from shoppers like you. And now back to the show. All right, let's see here. My occupation is army officer and my dream save the ocean mammals. All right, so I'll take that. And I'm currently waiting for um, a potential challenger. Ah, here she is. We have a potential challenger named Cecilia and her dream park named after you or park named after Cecilia. All right, so we're both ready. Let's start the game. Now it's my turn. Two, opportunity and let me take a small deal. You find a great deal. Company bought transfer managers, three, two, three bedroom, two bathroom house. No current tenant, but has been on, on market for six months. Uh, just reduced, borrow from the bank if you must, but buy this. 150% RI be sold for 65,000 to 135,000. Cost of 45,000, mortgage of of 43,000, down payment of 2,000, and cash flow of 250. So I have 1,390 on hand, and if I borrow 1,000, that's a bank payment of 100. But that's more than a cash flow, so I have a net cash flow of plus 150. Hey, good one, I'm gonna buy that. That's the way to do it. Thank you, I had to borrow $1,000, I had to make a payment of um, 100 to the bank. So this will be liability for loan payment, bank payment is an expense, down payment is a uh, Asset, so is a cost. Mortgage is liability, and the cash flow is income. And I have cash flow, cash flow of 870. All right. Now it's Cecilia's turn, and she landed on do that. Paid a. She went to a concert where she bought tickets, dinner, and coffee, and paid 180 dollars in cash. Now it's my turn. And uh, let's see here. Three. Is that, oh, let's do that. Let me see here. Play my lucky lottery number, I lost a hundred. Uh, paying cash 
to avoid instead of a credit card. Now it's Cecilia's turn. And she landed on opportunity and see what she has right now. Car wash for sale. Oh, a big deal opportunity. Oh my. Uh, and she passed the opportunity. A real estate broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it is the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Okay, earlier I just went to the, an opportunity and it's a negative cash flow, so I passed anyway. And now Corey just, uh, well, Cecilia just went into, um, went just, just uh, got into the opportunity, the house for sale, and she passed it. Now it's um, my turn. Four, and let me take a small deal. Condo for sale. Hmm. Yeah, the cost is forty thousand. Mortgage is forty six thousand, and down payment is four thousand. So I have to borrow the bank from the bank. That's three thousand dollars. I have to make a payment three hundred. It's more than cash flow. Nah, it's not worth that. Better pass. Yeah, I would have passed on that deal too. Now it's Cecilia's turn, and she just got a paycheck of 2130 and should be my turn by now. Oh, now I have my first child. So now I add 110 to my child expense. Careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they can do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. And now my cash flow just reduced to 760. And of course now it's a serious turn and he and she just passed the opportunity. Okay, now it's my turn. Three. Let me take a small deal this time. On to your entertainment, twenty dollars per share. Uh, that's too high. Better pass. Now it's Cecilia's turn. And she took home a paycheck of two thousand one hundred thirty. Now it's my turn. Five, and what is that going to be? I f Downsize, oh! Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that your job position has been affected by new corporate restructuring. You must pay your expenses minus your passive income and you lose three turns. Thank you for your hard work and we wish you the best in your future endeavors. Sincerely, the Big Cheese, your boss at Big Bad Business Company. So now I have 680 left on hand. And now it's her turn. Twenty acres of raw land. And I don't I don't think she's interested in that. And now, of course, I'm downsized, so there's not much I could do. What is the first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Okay, well, Cecilia just landed on charity and she didn't pay for any charity and I'm still downsized. Now it's her turn. Market. Okay, well, this condo buyer, two bed for two bedroom, one bathroom. Uh, we don't have 
We don't have that, so it doesn't apply to both of us. And now I think it's my turn. Three. All right. Small deal this time. House for sale. Two bedroom, one bathroom. Hmm. Yeah, down here with 3000 so if I borrow the money, that's 2000 from the bank, I have to pay 200 That's more than a cash flow of 100 Nah, I better pass. Yeah, I would have passed on that deal too. Okay, so now it's, uh, it's, it's Cecilia's turn. And let's see here, another big deal opportunity. And let's see what's her decision. And she passed that, that, that house for sale. Now it's my turn. One, okay, market. Okay, let's see what I have right now. You are offered 135. Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. You are offered 135000 for a three-bedroom, two-bathroom house, rental house, buy has own financing, Everyone might set this price, and if you sell, pay off the related mortgage and give up the cash flow you currently receive on this property. Hey, that's a good one. Great opportunity here. So I'm gonna gain like what, ninety-two thousand for that uh, and a profit. So yeah, good idea. I'm gonna get sell that. And now I have the, my cash flow reduced to five hundred ten. But, I have 93,440 on hand, so good one. I can buy a big one, the big business. Now it's her turn. Demand for bread and breakfast. Hmm, yeah, we don't have that, so it doesn't apply to us. Now it's my turn. Six. So I got a paycheck. I took home 510. Let me see if I could actually repay some of my loans here. Yeah, that's the one, that's a big one I have to get rid of. Okay, so bank loan, I just got rid of that. My stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! So I got, I'm gonna get rid of the retail debt, car loan and credit card debt. And now I have 86,950 on hand. All right. So now it's Cecilia's turn. And of course she has no child so she does not have to pay for that, do that. Now it's my turn. Two, of course that's market, but of course I have nothing with me, so it doesn't apply to me. And now it's Cecilia's turn. And she landed an opportunity, and let's see what she has right now. Big two opportunity, and let's see. 12 unit apartment, and she passed that opportunity. And now it's my turn. Five, all right. Let me see if I can actually take a, a big deal opportunity. And let me take a big deal. 
duplex for sale. Owner moving out of duplex due to growing family. Hmm. Tenant remains well maintained. Excellent landscaping uses for sale for sale to player. 36% RI may sell for 50,000 to 70,000. Cost of 50,000. Mortgage of 42,000. Down payment of 8,000. And cash flow of 240. Hmm, Mutual good one. funds are good safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. Yeah, why not? Let's take that. Nicely done. Now, of course, I don't need to say that because it's, I've already done this before. So now my cash flow increased to 1,020. Now, it's Cecilia's turn. And she is now downsized for the, for the first time. And I think it should be my turn. Yep, it is. So now I can run a little faster. Four, all right. Let me take a big deal again. Four plex for sale. Hmm. Yeah, there's actually a, there's gonna be a loss here if I actually sell for the price lower than it costs, so ah, forget it. Even with a bank loan, that investment would have provided positive cash flow. Okay, now Cecilia is still downsized, so let me see if I, actually, if I could actually avoid being downsized for a second time. Now it's my turn. Two, all right. Let me take a big deal again. New department wanted non-franchise sandwich shop, non-franchise sandwich shop, doubling the number of locations. Owner needs additional equity capital to get operating loan. Uses for self a center player, 60% RI. Owner may buy you out for 60,000 to 90,000. Cost of 30,000, no mortgage, but you still have a down payment of 30,000. I don't know. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that's dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. So the cash flow is 1,500. So yeah, good one. I'm gonna buy that. Good job. Thank you. So of course I don't need to say that again. And no mortgage, that's good, so no liability. Cash flow is income, and so now I have cash flow of 2,520. Yay! But I still have 4,990. I still have 49,970 on hand, so that's good. Now Cecilia's turn. Oh yeah. She's still downside, so there's not much, not much she, she could do right now. Now it's my turn. Congratulations. Nicely done. Congratulations, you reached the fast track. You've proved your financial intelligence. Your rat race investment have prospered. You've reinvested your returns of our outstanding investment success. You've successfully increased your passive income a hundred times. Yay! Now, on the fast track, here we go. Nine. Let's see, biotech company IPO. Buy 500,000 shares at, 10, at uh, 10 cents per share. If you roll five or six on one die, share goes to $1 and get 500,000 cash from bank. Otherwise, I get nothing. Hmm. My real estate broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah, that's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it is the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. 
Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna have to skip that for now, so I'll pass. Now it's Cecilia's turn. And let's see, she landed on market. Now, of course, she has no software company, so it does not apply to her. Now it's my turn. Nine, eh? Just let it on my dream, man. My dream. Save the ocean's mammals. Fund and be a crew member on a month-long research expedition to protect endangered sea animals. Cost 125000 So, I have 348000 on hand, so good news. I'm going to end the game for real. Congratulations, you won the game and achieved your dream goal. Final score, I have 120, and Cecilia, zero. Yay! Good job playing the game. Not everybody wins a game, but he can learn from it. I've lost games many times in my life, and they've been the most valuable learning experiences I've ever had. Using discussion and cooperation, we can learn from and teach each other. Ask yourself, what happened when I played the game? Please share your experience with others. So now you know what it means to be in the freeway to financial freedom. By applying these concepts from this show into your daily life, you can overcome financial obstacles and avoid financial pitfalls while creating new sources of wealth through wise financial decisions so you can be in a state of affluence and prosperity for the rest of your life and future generations. Alright, that's it for this episode of the show. And remember, knowledge is your golden ticket to affluence. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.